This is most likely the dumbest film camera I've ever owned. I also really like it. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and welcome back to Film Friday. Today we're gonna to be looking at this camera. Uh, this is a Superheads Demican Fisheye 110 film camera. Uh, like I said in the intro, this is probably the dumbest camera I own. Uh, not only is it a 110 film camera, which is pretty much the lowest quality film you can shoot uh, aside from some of the micro film formats, um, it also has a fisheye lens on the front, but it doesn't even give you the full image circle. It actually crops in, so it's really just kind of a weird wide angle 110 camera. Um, but I also really like it, and I'm gonna explain why. This is a camera that was made in Japan by a company called Superheads. I don't think they make the camera anymore, but there still seems to be plenty of stock because I got this mint in package, and it's called a Demikin. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I hope I am, uh, which is a type of goldfish. In England, it's called a telescope fish, uh, but in Japanese, it's called Demikin, uh, which is another word for eye or pop eye, which is quite an appropriate name for a little fisheye camera that's kind of shaped like a goldfish. So let's unbox this little guy and I'll show you how it works. Uh, first off, I love the packaging. As you can see, it's a little fish bowl. So there's, you know, the camera is like a little goldfish inside it, uh, very fitting for the name. And the really nice thing about this packaging is you can actually open it without tearing it, uh, which is great for storage. Uh, if you wanna store the camera in its packaging, you can. And here is the camera, very, very basic very boxy. It's a 13.5 aperture, it looks like, which is kind of weird. Uh, and it's also an 8.9 millimeter fisheye lens. And we're gonna use Lomography Tiger 200 ISO color negative 110 film in this camera. But first we have to figure out how to load it because uh, it's just this little black box. Well, actually how you do that is you fold up this part right here and uh, then you simply open this part on the back and the 110 film just slides into the back here. Now you, you're gonna want the geared part of the film to advance it uh, to be registered uh, with the gear in the camera. And you're just gonna simply slot it in, make sure it locks in and then close the door, lock the door into place. And there you go, your little fisheye 110 film camera is ready to shoot. And to advance the film, you simply turn this wheel and you'll see on the back here, film is advancing to our first shot and we're on number one. We're ready to take our first shot. Now, like I said, this is probably one of the dumbest cameras I own, but it's not the only 110 fisheye camera I own. Uh, I also have the Lomography Baby Fisheye 110 camera. And actually this camera is superior to the Demikin uh, because it gives you a full image circle. The fisheye lens is small enough that even on the tiny 110 film negative, you still get the full image circle of the fisheye lens. Uh, not so the Demikin. It's actually so cropped in that you really just get some slight dark corners on the edges. So it's really more like an ultra wide angle, super distorted lens, which really isn't that useful. So if you want the fisheye look, and you wanna shoot on 110 film for some reason, you're probably gonna to wanna to get the Fisheye Baby 110 from Lomography and avoid this guy altogether. But I still really like the images. And it is kind of fun to have an ultra wide angle distorted 110 image, as opposed to a fairly limiting full circle Fisheye 110 image. And the other nice thing about this camera is it has a lens cap. Uh, so if you're traveling with it and you wanna protect the lens, you just pop that on and the lens cap stays attached to the camera. So it's always handily right there whenever you need it. Really handy to have. Like I said, this has a fixed aperture and if you're shooting with you know 200 color negative film with that aperture setting, you're really gonna only want to shoot in bright sunlight. With this image, I did shoot in kind of a dark kitchen, but I pointed the camera towards uh, the sunlight outside. So I got a kind of funny silhouette of this Han Solo action figure uh, free soloing up a fridge. Yes, it's a terrible pun. Yes, Han Solo isn't actually free soloing because he is using ropes, uh, but I didn't set this up. You can blame my friend, Joe. Okay, I said earlier, this is probably the dumbest camera I own and yet I do kind of enjoy shooting with it. I love how simple it is, uh, and some of the features are pretty cool. It's got a tripod mount here, so you can put it on a tripod for whatever reason. You've got this little nifty viewfinder you can look through that is pretty much useless. I never used it. I simply just point and shot. 
And uh, it's really fun how close you can get to your subject. Uh, this photo of my fiance's dog, David, uh, I've got the camera right up on him and I still got a usable image because the lens is so wide angle. And yeah, the Lomography Baby Fisheye does have a full fisheye image circle, but 110 is such a small format, uh, you're wasting a lot of the film by having that much of a vignette. Whereas this lens fills the majority of the frame, so you are getting a more engaging image even if it's not really fully fisheye. Also, this camera is way more affordable than this camera, although I think maybe the prices have gone down on this. Uh, when I purchased it, it was pretty expensive, whereas this was really, really cheap on Amazon. Now you might ask, Sean, why would you shoot with a fisheye 110 camera? What's the point? Well, I kind of like 110 film for the same reason I like fisheye lenses, which I've established in past videos. Uh, they're both very unique. A fisheye lens gives you a very unique perspective that's not very traditional for photography or video. And the 110 film is such a small gauge film that it gives you tons of grain. And this is great to create this nostalgic filmic look. Uh, each frame of 110 film can look like a frame from a 16 millimeter home movie camera, uh, a film that was shot in the 60s or 70s. So shooting 110 is a great way to create a nostalgic look and then adding a crazy fisheye lens to the front uh, makes it that much more unique. Okay, so if you are a medium format shooter, uh, if you shoot with high-end digital cameras, I would definitely not recommend buying this camera. You probably hate this camera. You probably wish all of these cameras uh, were rounded up and melted down uh, to create more Fujifilm GFX cameras. But if you are a crazy film shooter like myself, if you do like collecting weird cameras, uh, the Superheads Demikin is definitely for you. And I would actually recommend the Fisheye Baby 110 as well. I might do a video on it in the future. Also a fun little camera, but of the two, I think I would go with this because I just like the design and I like how you get a little more coverage on your frame. Okay, that was a quick look at this weird little goldfish inspired Japanese camera. Uh, if you have any questions about the Demikin 110 or the Lomography Baby Fisheye 110, comment below, I'd love to help you out. Also click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and have a happy Fisheye 110 day. Ooh, it looks like I got two Fisheyes, whoa.